What's up guys, this is Sunny and today I got here Nexus 4 uh, two Nexus 4 here, one on the left running Ubuntu, two, one on the right running Stack Jellybean 4.2.3. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing any compare, just to show you guys, you know how both of these looks um, next to each other. So uh, on the left, I have a Ubuntu, two, uh, just flushed the Ubuntu 2 in Nexus 4, and it's running flawlessly. But the problem is, it's it's not a every day, every day using. Uh, Every day using driver yet you cannot use this uh, Ubuntu Nexus for every day because it does have a bugs and uh, stuff. Cause it's still not st uh, stable, still a developer version. So just you know keep this in your mind. And uh, Nexus 4 right here, as you can see, uh, you know is running the stock ROM. Um, and Ubuntu is definitely uh, is great. It's definitely you know is looks different. Um, everything. Everything looks different, you know, it, it feels different. Um, I didn't play around with it for too long, you know, I just uh, flashed this Ubuntu in uh, Nexus 4. But uh, so far I'm liking it. Um, text work, the call works, the internet doesn't work, data doesn't work. Um, but uh, you could use Wi-Fi, but the phone data uh, doesn't work. But uh, other than that, it's not bad if you guys just want to play around maybe you know you want to install and just play around with it but I suggest uh, don't install this ROM and try to use it every day you know don't take a vacation after installing this ROM because um, you don't want to get stuck with uh, you know half half running phone you know whatever so yeah guys so I, I'm just making this quick video to show you guys Nexus 4 um, with the oven 2 running flawlessly, you could definitely install this. Um, it's, it's running good. Uh, the camera works good. The browser works. Um, all the apps not working flawlessly yet, so you have to wait on that. But other than it, it's, it's running flawlessly. So. If you guys want to install uh, Ubuntu in your phone, basically you have to root your phone, have a custom recovery, and then uh, just flush the Ubuntu file from the uh, Clockwork mod, or you could just use a uh, uh, CMD from your PC and just uh, install it. And I'll make a video how to uh, flush uh, Ubuntu in your Nexus 4. Other than that guys, uh, this is just a quick uh, video review, so if you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching my video. Thank you.